Hi and hello to Bimodeler. This is Raj. We are creating a series of pipe fitting tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to watch how do we create a pipe union family. If you need any clarification on this video or you need to have a different parametric family, you can leave your comments below so that I can address it in a different video. Do share it with your learning friends so that let them learn it. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the Bimodel channel. Let's get started. I have already opened the file, project file, which you have set the mechanical settings as pipe settings from the Phenolex. These are the pipe settings from Phenolex. I've done it earlier and we have the same pipe settings. We have assigned it as PVC U Schedule 80. Let us start creating a family. Let's go to the file, new family. Let me start with generic model family. Let's start with this one, generic model. As many of you know that this is the center axis and you will have the center origin place. You have to create uh, four different new plane for your fittings. So we can create similar, it at the top side, bottom side, like this. Horizontal and vertical, you have to create both. You have to create the dimensions like this and make it equal. Make it equal later. Don't forget to change this by fitting category. For type, as it is, it is a union family. And select it as part type like okay so this is the important setting once you have done you can select save or yes and you can go inside pipe union family things or coupler pipe and option one Once it is done, you can create your own settings such as parameters. These are your parameters. It is already existing. You can check your PowerPoint presentation. So these are the dimensions we have earlier. So let us see how we can make it these things. So we need the internal diameter and external diameter also. So it means we are going to create a thickness. So we can let us copy this element and paste it here to the other side also copy that paste it we can create it as like the previous one related dimensions and you can mention the off width of the frame and full width of the frame Once the reference plane has created, we have to create our parameters. So let's go back into the type parameters and make sure that your category is fine and go back to the type parameters. We have to create parameters before that we have to create both the lookup tables available here. So already we have discussed this video tutorials how do we create the lookup table template which is available on the link above here. You have to follow through those tutorials how to create this template. We can open that, so we have the list of parameters which is defining our lookup table and the required parameters from Phenolex and you can assign that parameters here. So you can just simply copy this name, name of this parameter, name of this file so that we can paste it here. The first parameter is lookup table, lookup table name, since it's a lookup table it's supposed to be a text parameter and can be anything on type or instance i will keep it as type so that it assigns the value let's say okay paste your value as the excel file without the excel extension step make sure that uh, you don't have an extension only the name once it is done so we can go back and creating the remaining parameters such as nominal diameters we have to create 
for terminal diameter and this will be our pipe this is important settings that you have to remember this must be a piping and pipe size dimensions to make sure that all the other parameters are instant and click ok we need nominal radius also let us go back and type radius and as i mentioned it is pipe setting and pipe size instance okay we have to apply the formula nominal radius will be nominal diameter divided by 2 as simple it is simple formula we need fitting inside diameter fitting outside diameter these two parameters so fitting inside diameter piping is pipe size instance okay make sure that you have copy it so that it will be for us create another parameter fitting outside diameter is piping pipe size this parameter okay the next parameter will be our height parameter pipe pipe height and piping pipe size instance we have another parameter and which is named as sd so the depth we have to assign that parameter also so if you are using or if you are not using so the parameters need to be assigned and it, it, it should be taken from the excel file it is pipe st value so it is piping pipe size tense. select ok that's it so we have to create those parameters so uh, the formulas which is used to taken from the parameter values from the file so the parameter values are available and the parameters are uh, the formulas are already discussed you can go simply and you can create your fitting outside diameter value from the excel i'm just copying and pasting it this is a simple simple syntax we have used earlier from the lookup table template creation and the height value and the st value that's it i hope and if you need any other parameters to be filled you can fill it up and then make your formulas as per the required form so as of now everything is okay so you can make your other urls like such as for us it is remodeler.com website and you can define your parameter name so for example if i select 15 i make it as small as possible so that we can see it clearly make a stretch so you can fit it to a value so if i select 10 the values will vary and as per the formulas is not available in our schedule so automatically it will make a calculation and if the value is available in the excel file so automatically the related excel file value will be taken here the particular column let's select ok from that the value will be assigned we have to assign the parameters here fitting inside and outside parameters let me create an inside value here we're going to assign it as fitting inside diameter and the next one will be fitting outside parameter here and the next side so the other side it will be for us the one side will be sd is a depth pipe depth so this pipe sd see that pipe depth it is created the overall value will be our pipe height which is uh, defined from our picture that you can see it's height so we can define our height also is that part you can see that uh, 
the value which is defined as SD supposed to be height of height so let me change that to height for ST so I'm going to copy another one parameter another one reference line copy so I'm trying to create exactly the same uh, pipe fitting here so it's not necessary to keep all these parameters assigning it so make this as smaller that you can make it as better make this as two. this will be or as this will be just the value outer to outer will be height value nominal height this value will be st now if you check that it is properly aligned we could probably create our fittings over in this we are not going to use any extrusion by default you can use simple extrude and you can create it but we wanted to create a, a whole round of shape so that the inside void will be shown clearly so let us create a revolve and select the revolve command we're going to create a solid modeling let's create it from here to this end and you can lock these all four lines we have to have additional line over in this place so the one line one line it is extra over overlapping lines delete it and split these two lines make trim and extend to your align command magic command align magic commands align it make sure that your lines these lines are aligned topped with your reference line and also make sure that this line dimension made a dimension and locked it so we have to create the access line and you can use the pick lock it you can select this one this so that the center axis is picked in this reference plane automatically locked so once it is done you can simply finish it the fitting which is created later you could go to 3d and see that the fitting created by simple man so to test it so every time whenever you do uh, settings or if you change anything on the model you have to test your models like for example 20 apply you have to go back and select it 25 and 50 you have to check the parameters to whether it is working properly or not once it is done you can make control z so the parameters we have created solid modeling we have created it we need to create a constraint uh, which is uh, for pipe connector so you can create the pipe connector inside this phase so that it the pipe whenever you connect it automatically it comes inside and see so you can go to 3d and you can connect it you can make it solid pipe connector on this surface so that you are selecting the right surface depth surface. both sides we have to assign the parameters nominal diameter so that whenever you change the pipe settings it understands the nominal diameter it will be created in so like this so it will be connected inside pipe you can close this one so you can see that the, the left side is sitting on your so it must be the primary you have to bring the primary and you have to select one connector and we click the link connector over you have to select the other one so that the link between the two connector will happen so it understands that uh, these two connects are, connectors are perpendicular to each other and connects to so save the family and i hope everything is good and we have to create the symbol only pending with a symbol you can save the family let's test it inside the project 
load into project and so if I come near pipe to a pipe so see that it is aligning it's perfect and see if I see SL split command if I click the pipe so it automatically uh, creating the pipe fitting the previously which is assigned with the pipe settings now if I change this to our unit Knowledge pipe fitting it should accept it. See pipe fitting it goes still inside. Okay, so assigning it works. You have to assign it to the routing preference. Edit, edit the routing preference. It is nothing but union. We have to change the family. The union. Select OK. Whenever if I do split command SL, I click to add assign automatically. If I go to the floor plan again, it should show the fittings and if I change that to course view, it should show the symbol, not the rectangle one. So we can go back to our fittings. We can come back and we have to create the symbol. So the symbol can be anything that uh, we are creating things. It's, it, may, it may be a single line and create it between this place. I'm just creating a single line it sits here from this place to place and I will use the align command to align it this to align the corners we can align it like this so that it fits properly let's hide this element visibility by using the visibility control you can hide it in the host will show only in the course view the remaining uh, two views it will show so we have to turn it off on the course view whenever I change it the course it automatically turn off the 3d model so I have to select it like this so let's save this family one second we'll load into the project and override the existing portion if I make it course so the line model line over in this place automatically like this since I'm using the model line, so it will show automatically like this. So this is how the whole process works. You can do your own control settings here. You can uh, define other other than this. If you wanted to assign the material, you can assign it over here. Create your own material, rename and PVC and Take your material library from library, take it from the assert PVC. Select the material, assign it. Select OK. The material will be assigned to your pipe fitting. So this is our pipe fitting that you can see it in realistic. So is a parametric pipe fitting we have completed i hope this tutorial helped you to create a parametric family if you like this video give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the b model channel and share it with your learning friends so that they can learn it by themselves i'll see you on the next tutorial happy learning